Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Minty, and this is episode 36 of the Battleship Brawl Season 6 Tournament. This episode, we have the Queen of Twilight. Come on, there we go. By Sniper as well. And, uh, right, yeah. Its opponent is the Tomoyo Sakagami by Gaming19. Go ahead and get the camera into position. I'll do the predictions. Start prediction. Who will be victorious? Twilight or Tomoyo? You have one minute to place your bets. Put down some materials on who you think is going to win. And in the meantime, let's get this battle started. Ooh, Tomoyo Sakagami got getting absolutely wrecked by that first volley. Almost 7% HP gone in one shot. What happened? I don't even really see that much damage, but... It's all internal, I guess. Man, that was... That was pain. Oh yeah, the missiles got hit. Man, those missiles don't stand a chance against this Sea Wiz. I mean, there's a hole, but it doesn't look like it's 7% of the ship's HP. But then you come down in here, and it's like, oh, there's Swiss cheese everywhere, including the steam plant. Only one of the steam props is operating. Are these guns still operating? Yeah, but there's. Okay, there it is. I was gonna say, there's no sound coming from them. What the heck? Where are your torps? That's a good question. Looks like they're getting intercepted. Yep. Intercepted. Wow, the Queen of Twilight is just like the perfect counter to the Tomoyo Sakagame. It's like a laser light show up here. Those tracers. Fire, 
Oh, looks like we are out of propulsion on the Tomoyo Sakagame. Death by bracket, yeah. hit on that ooh that actually overpinned the gun that went through the gun oh well I do believe the gun is dead What do you mean, bucket? There's not a whole lot to say. The Tomoyo can't really do much. It's trying, but uh, Seawiz says no. I wish I could. I, I wish I could bet on the predictions. You know, I'd throw you know like 5k up every round on my own prediction just to add up the points but the but twitch won't let me hydrate phoenix from st sticks <laughs> There we go, half hydrated. There's just a constant storm of small torpedo interceptors. The poor torpedoes on the Tomoyo can't do anything. I mean, that's true, Mitch, but... It's all just fun and games. The points don't matter. Oh, AI dead on Tomoyo. And there we go. This round is over.
95.1 to zilch. Smooth carpet, water, air. What? What are you talking about, SS McTiny? You saying random words? <laughs> yeah, Queen's Queen of Twilight's doing pretty well. Cannot deny that. I mean, ninety-five point one to zero. With the missiles undam with the missiles undamaged, some of them are actually getting through. Into the belly. Oh, jeez. Look at all that confetti. Yeah, so I was about to check if there was missile damage. Nope, I think it's just distance. Okay, those blocks just kind of disappeared. Torpedoes can't do anything again. They're trying. Uh oh. That one sneaked past. Oh, it did only to get only to get intercepted by the next cloud of interceptors. Oof, there goes a gun blown off the Tomoyo.
Agreed, Jorper. He's sitting right about here is actually kind of cool to see all the shells flying past the missiles. Until you reach the point of convergence and then the missiles just die. Just a little bit of missile damage is all it took to suddenly make the missiles rather ineffective. Hey, BRM. Yep, second round, BRM. This one's much closer this time. Yeah, your mat usage is a bit high. Yeah, snipers will. Thing is, on the other side, you've got four high rate of fire sea whiz blasting the entire time. That's that's a lot of materials usage. Yeah, I really wish I could turn that off, pyrotech. The self-cannibalization of mats is kind of annoying, but... Still swarms of missiles coming in, but none of them getting through. That is true, Pyrotech. Oh, that's uh, an AI dead on the Tomoyo.
she dead, folks. Ninety three point one to nothing. Hmm. Oh, I don't need to load anything. Starting to recognize a pattern here, right? See how these initial grams do. Not very well. Oh, well, they do have altitude fuses, so those fragments still ripped ho ripped holes into the Tomoyo. And managed to knock out these propellers. Looks like, uh, well, right there, lost a, uh, what you call it, a shaft. Oh, yeah, the Tomoyo Sakagami is winning this time so far. Well, was, and then the crams happened. Oh, the front turret is gone, I just noticed. That's an oof. And the missiles are offline. Another gun's gone, and another gun's gone. Another one bites the dust. It's a song called Another One Bites the Dust. She's still technically alive. Her guns are gone. Her missiles are gone. Oh, and the torpedoes are gone. So the Tomoyo Sakagami seems to have been eliminated.
Oh yeah, it has no mats. Its mat storage got blown up. Everything on it is just gone. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Yeah, there's no there's no reason to continue on here. This uh, this battle is very much over. A very pretty shell. Yes. All right, let's look. Let's let these last crams hit, and then I'll end it just for, just for the, the confetti. She even has heavy armor. Doesn't matter. The crams go right through it. <laughs> anyway. So, 91.3 to 0 for round 3. Giving us a 93.2 to 0 final score, or combat score, not final score. Yeah, crams don't mind heavy armor. They have too much damage. Yeah, 96% for the Twilight. Correct! Anyway. That's going to be the end of this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the battlefield.